Jellyfish Entertainment created a phenomenal six-member boy group by the name of Vix. Vix has been promoting since 2012 and is widely recognized for their concepts and compelling performances. So who are they and what have they been up to lately? Well, let's talk about it. Leo, Ken, Ravi, Hyuk, Hongbin, and N debuted in 2012 with the single Superhero. Then, by the summertime, the guys released Rock Your Body. Early 2013, Vix came back with the single album On and On. Then came along Hide, Vix's first mini album to drop. We'd soon get a repackaged version of Hyde called Jekyll and title track Great You. Towards the end of the year, Vix gave us the album Voodoo and title track Voodoo Doll. The following year, Vix returned with the single album Eternity. By the summertime, the guys released the Japanese album Darkest Angel, and then towards the end of the year, we'd get another mini album called Error. <laughs> Early in 2015, Vix returned with the special album Boys Record and title track Love Equation. After making waves in the Chinese and Taiwanese music markets, by late summer we'd get the subunit Vix LR, which consisted of Ravi and Leo. They debuted with the mini album Beautiful Liar. Afterwards, the guys released another Japanese single called Can't Stay. Then, they closed out the year with the album Chained Up. Early in 2016, we get the Japanese album Depend On Me. Afterwards, Jellyfist released the project Conception Art Film, followed by the Zelos concept film, to further showcase Vix's talents and performances and capabilities. Then, Vix dropped the single album Dynamite. By summertime, we get the Japanese single Hana Kaze, or Kaze, I don't know if I said that right. In part with the 2016 Conception Trilogy, Vix released the single album Hades and title track Fantasy. The final part of the trilogy was released alongside the mini album Kratos in title track Closer, The Closer. Then to close out the Conception projects, Vix released the compilation album Vix 2016 Conception Care with the title track Milky Way. In 2017, Vix returned with the mini album Shangri La. Afterwards, we get the Japanese EP, La La La, Thank You For Your Love. And then in 2018, Vix came back with the album, I'm going to butcher this, but Yo De Vix and title track, Sentis. Then 
the guys close out the year with the Japanese album Reincarnation. And then come early 2019, Vix released the single Walking. <laughs> Afterwards, everyone renewed their contracts with their agency except for Ravi, who went on to establish his own label. However, he reassured everyone that he is still a part of VIX. In February of 2020, Hong Bin came under fire for comments he made regarding another idol group or several other groups, rather, during one of his live Twitch broadcasts. While watching Shiny perform Everybody, Hong Bin chimed in by stating, Who combines this kind of idol music with band music? So lousy. Then he condemned Infinite's Be Mind's choreography by stating, If it were me, I would have hit the choreographer. A few hours after the initial broadcast went up, Hong Bin returned to address his comments with an apology in hopes to calm the uproar of angry fans of those groups he had called out earlier. Hong Bin stated, I didn't say those things to demean any group i tried to differentiate between my live broadcast and my work as an idol i'm sorry i made a mistake i said those things as a fan thinking they could have looked so much cooler but i think it makes sense that their fans are angry i didn't think that far he goes on to say i didn't want to talk about my main job during my personal broadcast that's why i made negative comments about these songs the songs of people that i know i think that those who are speaking about the controversy haven't seen my previous broadcasts during his apology broadcast hong ben got up to leave the room briefly when he returned he stated an employee from my agency just came. They told me to just leave the team if I'm going to be like this. I think that makes sense. If my team tells me to leave, I'll leave. Please don't criticize my team. I made the mistake, not them. Following the controversy, Jellyfish released an official statement on the matter that reads, Hello, this is Jellyfish Entertainment. Our artist Lee Hong Bin has caused great pain and concern to other artists and their fans with the word and behavior he showed during his personal live broadcast. We bow our heads in apology. We also sincerely apologize to the fans who support Vix and Hongbin. We feel responsible about our artists' words and actions and are reflecting on ourselves. We will pay closer attention to the management of our artists so that this kind of issue does not arise again. Once again, we apologize for causing concern. Thank you. Then Hongbin wrote a formal apology on his IG that reads, Hello, this is Hong Bin. I sincerely apologize to the artists and the fans of those artists who were hurt by my improper words and actions from my previous late night live broadcast. I also apologize to the VIX members and fans for causing t them to worry. There is no room for excuse. No matter what reason it is for, I am deeply reflecting on acting carelessly and not thinking deeply i once again bow my head in apology to those who were disappointed by me i will take care to ensure that something like this does not happen again and i will reflect on myself i am truly sorry it wasn't until august that Je jellyfish announced hongbin's departure from the group and agency hongbin also went live on twitch shortly after the news broke to speak to fans about it he stated first off my contract has been terminated and I am no longer under jellyfish. I cannot say any more about this. I'm so sorry to those who were my fans and fans of Vix. I've left the company, so I think I need to find my own path now. I am really sorry. I should have been doing many things in return for my fans, but I think I was really lacking. The only thing I can say is that I'm sorry. He continued by saying, one thing I need to say is that I'm very sorry to my original fans, to my fans from when I was in Vix, because it's true that it was my my mistake and this happened because of my mistake so i am sorry however i thought it wouldn't be right for me to post on the fan club site to say this has happened my contract has been terminated because of these reasons i didn't want to tarnish that space with that post so in my personally for me in my country it is encouraged that everyone has the right to free speech so although hung bin's comments may have come off distasteful i feel like he's entitled to his own opinion obviously there's a time and place for everything and he should have just like kept that as like 
what we call table talk, which is just, you know, like at home talk. Um, So on the contrary, what I've learned is that Korean culture highlights respect and favorable opinions, especially from their celebrities and idols. So I also understand why the public was just so quick to respond to his comments and like, you know, condemn him for it. It's just really unfortunate that he had to leave the group entirely due to this matter. I feel like it could have been addressed and then everyone should have just like been able to move on per usual. But I digress. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. So in late 2020, Anne decided not to renew his contract with Jellyfish, followed by Hyun in 2022, although both remain a part of Vix. Then I said Hyun, Hyuk, like who the heck is Hyun? I meant Hyuk, you guys. That was a typo. Then on January 3rd, 2023, Vix released the single Gonna Be Alright. So... You know, so far, Vix has been nominated for 64 awards, and they've won 22 of them. So, what are the guys up to when they are not promoting together? Ravi enlisted in the military in late 2022 as a service worker. He also released a single called Block Party and now manages two labels and is also working on his upcoming album. Leo landed his first acting role in the drama Happy Ending Outside the Fence. And Or Hakyun is with the agency 51K and he's focusing mainly on acting, seen most recently in the drama Bad and Crazy. He also revealed in interviews that he and the members get together often and they still support each other through their own personal endeavors and talk about the next steps for Vix quite regularly. Hyuk released a single in September of 2022 called Stay From Me. Ken can be seen in the musical Excalibur as King Arthur himself and it was speculated in November of 2022 that Hong Bin was facing drug charges. The Noan police station in Seoul arrested a former idol group member at his home in Guangjin Gu and the on the charges of violating the Narcotics Control Act. The idol member labeled A was charged with using an illegal methamphetamine. Details surrounding A that were released led led many to believe it was Hong Ben who had faced these charges because it was reported that A debuted in the idol group back in 2012 and is now working as a broadcast streamer. However, Hong Ben went live to clear up the rumors by stating, I am popular today. Reporters are trash. I can speak with confidence. I am a victim. I stream 11 hours a day on average. When would I have time to do drugs? And... It was also stated that the supposed idol member who was caught doing these drugs was in a group back in 2012, which, you know, obviously Vix did debut around that time. But the article stated that this person's group had disbanded and Vix is not disbanded at this time so that should have also let everyone know that it was not him but you know like he said reporters are trash and people are quick to just draw lines and become investigators and try to figure things out for themselves but unfortunately they got that one wrong it was not him well that is all that i have for vix everyone let me know your thoughts on them i have been a avid supporter of vix for years i've been following them for a very very long time i really love their music so i'm excited to know what you guys think of vix let me know your thoughts on them um do you think that they will continue to make music or do you think that a spam is coming down the line for them i don't think so i think they're just one of those groups who will stay together no matter what no matter where they are they're just always gonna like come back together and do their own thing so yeah let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in the next video Masala.